Hello, my friends. Today we're answering a question by one of our members, Wiko from Netherlands. And the question is around cleaning up messy data. So yeah, raise your hand if you have messy data in your business. Well, that's all of us. But hey, with Power BI and Power Query, you can fall in love with messy data. And that's what we are about to do. So Wiko's question was, hey, I um, sometimes the comma doesn't quite work as a delimiter when I'm trying to clean up data. What if we have other things like spaces and dashes and commas? How do we handle that? For example, and he threw this stuff one at me. What about this name? You know, how do I how do I separate kind of the first name and the last name in this case? Um, so what we did is we built these three samples and they get increasingly more challenging and we're going to step through this. So the names one you would see has our nemesis right the gen in it weld <laughs> and we're going to try to extract the last name but you know try to do that for other names as well we up the stakes here in names two table where we introduce some dashes can we handle both how do we handle both and then names three is the ultimate challenge you would be taking on which is we also have in addition to Janet weld uh, you know, uh, and and these dashes, we have some which are in the format of last name, comma, first name. How about that to make things interesting? So let's dive in. See how it's done. Actually, before we dive in, let's talk about this. So hey, we realized that with Power BI, one of the biggest challenges is that everything looks easy until you try using it with your own data and then something nasty happens you either hit the query editor blues or dax wall or get your relationships twisted in knots and that's that is not some place where we want you to be stuck we want to help you get over that so uh and we love answering barbie BI questions so just go to uh, learnpowerbi.com question we would put that in the links somewhere in the video in the description or in the corner as well but hey easy to remember learnpowerbi.com slash question that's going to talk about all the different ways you can get help uh you know and, and get your questions answered including on live zoom calls right so uh so yeah all right so know that you have that resource because we know that can be frustrating so let's see how we can help we go so i'm going to launch our favorite kitchen of power bi woo -woo. all right so the power query query editor or kitchen of power bi and we're going to start with a simple example names one so again the the only challenge here is that well i mean um it, it, you know so so yeah so we have first name last name but we have jen in it well and now i noticed <laughs> this is, frank is from netherlands as well <laughs> so frank went down god what's what's wrong with these people in netherlands no just kidding it's all good it's all good <laughs> my dad has a middle name too so i shouldn't be complaining right so um all right so now of course let's do it the wrong way first right so let the wrong way is that we're going to split it by delimiter right so we're going to split this column by delimiter and let's just say space and let's see what happens right so i'm going to hit okay and of course well this is kind of weird and maybe we can still work with this of course Jen, <laughs> janet weld uh yeah ended up with like four different parts frank wendell then ended up like this yeah so it's not what we want so let's try that again so i'm going to delete these steps so again i'm just going here and clicking on these steps to delete them Okay, we're back at the source, and now we're going to try the split again, but slightly differently. So we're going to say slight split by delimiter, but I had kind of clicked OK really quick because I didn't want you to see this, but there are other options here, which is leftmost and rightmost delimiter. And I think for the most part, at least for us to get extract the last name, well, we can say the rightmost delimiter, right? So, uh, yeah, right. So, so we'll say, you know, break at the last one. You give me the last word after the space. So this would work better as you would see. So rightmost delimiter and bingo. So at least now we have a clean last name. Now there is of course further discussion about <laughs> can we live with this as the first name or uh, we need some further cleanup there we'll, we'll leave that for another day but at least you saw how using that example that you can you can simplify things much better okay are you ready for the next example so next example is a little bit trickier 
but we got this yeah so again of course we have the janet weld <laughs> and frank van delden case but to make things interesting we have grace dash dio and greg dash dash Berg. and again guys that's the reality and that's why power bi yes yeah, sure there is the concepts which we teach in our course as well but the, the emphasis in our program is always learning by doing because it's when you start working with real data and real data is messy data that you you know actually the, you solidify the concepts that that's real learning all right so so how do we do this now one phrase that i use and i believe in it which is that human learning comes before machine learning which is i often try to think about that how would a human do it and and then you have to slow it down because humans are intuitive you know we can just look at something and say, oh yeah i know the first name is grace last name is Gio. but but it's like, how? How did you do that, right? I mean, you know, so you got to slow it down, break it down, and, and dump it down, and then teach that to the machine. So, hey, I know someday robots may rule the world. We're not there yet. And and, and really, the, the key thing is Power BI is you got to dump yourself down. You got to slow yourself down, and that applies with the kitchen of Power BI. Surprisingly, it also applies with DAX. So, yeah, it's not that you are not smart enough. If you're struggling with this stuff, you're not dumb enough. <laughs> <laughs> we can help you with that. Join our program. All right, cool. All right, cool, guys. Let's, let's get serious. Okay, so let's um, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. So so clearly we have two different things. So what we're gonna start off right away is we're gonna duplicate this column. So again, uh, I love love the uh, toolbar over here, the ribbon. I mean, oh gosh, it's so awesome. So names two. Uh, maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to names to a and names to be kind of keep it clean and what i'm going to do is i'm going to split names to a the old way the same way we did for um the in the earlier example names one so we're going to split by delimiter and again rightmost delimiter we're choosing that hitting okay and we have that right but again you see that it doesn't quite work for grace Dio, greg berg oh gosh you guys troublemakers <laughs> Let's go to this one. And this one we're going to solve only for Grace Dio, Greg Bear, right? So we come in here and we say split column by the limiter. And in this case, we're going to, it doesn't say dash, so we're just going to use custom, right? So it has a few options here, but you know, you can always choose custom. Um, you know what? I've never tried. If you can, you specify like can 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 ampersand ampersand can like two characters be delimiters? Maybe they can. It would be interesting to try that. But hey, <laughs> focus, Avi, focus. So we're gonna put dash because Grace dash Dio Greg dash Berg. We're trying to split them. And uh, here, sometimes I I try to be careful. So here it says each occurrence of the delimiter, uh, leftmost, rightmost. I can I can use leftmost or or rightmost depending on what my data is. Uh, sometimes I also click in the advanced options and, oh yeah, you know, you, sometimes you can say how many maximum nodes. You know what, I, I think obviously in our data set we're fine either way. So I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so now is we're gonna bring it together. And again, guys, if you see this now, maybe you were not clear how to do this at the beginning and, and believe me when I say that. So Power Query, sometimes people are struggling with something which is like, oh God, it's so frustrating, I can't do it. It's just a matter of breaking it step by step and then it becomes easy, right? So so yeah, just, um, just go step by step. And again, if you're really stuck, learnpowerbi.com slash question and get your questions to us. We love your questions. All right, uh, cool. So uh, so again, it and, and now it's easy, right? So now again, how would a human do it if you gave them th these two lists? Oh, we'll say, yeah, cool. I mean, if I have a null here, I'm gonna ignore those guys because clearly that didn't work. And I'm gonna use these ones over here. And for everything else, you know, these guys are good, right? So, um, so again, that human logic, we're gonna now teach it to the machine. Human learning before machine learning. So I'm gonna add a new column, add column, uh, custom column. Great, and I'm gonna go here, and I'll just say, uh, I'm just gonna move it here. So let's say first name. Now, the, the syntax may seem a little bit 
tricky, but isn't, isn't. So if I'm saying, and I'm just checking the names 2a.2, right? So that that is the one that's null. You can see it right here, right? So that's the only one I'm going to check, names 2a.2. So that so I'm saying if this is null, right? Then, you know, hop over and use 2b. But again, my column is the first name column. So I'm going to go to 2b and pick up 2b.1, which is the first name. Makes sense, right? And then I'm going to say, well, and if that was not null, right, then then we're good. You know, named 2, 2a.1, this name is, is good. And I can copy that because I'll need that soon. And hit OK. And just, you know, visually check up. Yeah, great. Looks good. So notice how it, it picked up, you know, kind of Grace and Greg. And here it picked up Avi, Charles, and, and pretty much all of these things here. So great. And of course, now you can see how easy it is to do the last name column as well, which is last name. And I'm just going to paste that here. And again, all I have to do is now I have to pick the two uh, 2b.2 column, this guy, or 2a.2 based on my results. Hit OK, and of course I can check it. And of course that's what I love about Query Editor. You can go step by step, exactly see how it's designed. And of course now, and that's another thing that I love about the kitchen of Power BI, which is the Query Editor, is that it's got the trash can. Normally you do something like this in Excel and you have to carry around these columns. I mean, obviously you can't delete them because this depends on that. Well, yeah, thank God Query Editor has the trash can. So once you peel the potatoes, <laughs> you know, you can throw the potato skin away. You don't have to cook with it. So I'm just going to remove column here. And the first time I do it for an Excel user, they go, oh, oh, oh Avi, we needed those. I'm like, uh, you're okay. All right, guys. So, hey, now I showed you three, but I'm going to leave the last one for you. So, yeah, so this one, uh, makes it interesting because it adds a third scenario, last name, comma, first name. But again, it's all step by step by step. So you've seen me solve names one, simpler scenario, names two, well, slightly more steps, names three. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave this to you. I should have mentioned this at the beginning uh, that, um, yeah, you can get this file at learnparbi.com slash download to practice. In fact, uh, that's uh, right. So, so if you want to practice this out, play around with it yourself, then go get the file. Love it. And as I said, folks, we love your questions. So go to learnparbi.com slash question. If, um, if, and yeah, don't, don't pull your hair out, right? <laughs> don't do this to yourself. If you're trying to use Power BI with your own data and <laughs> This happens, right? Query and Chip Lewis hit a DAX ball, relationships twisted in knots. Then there's help. And of course, we realize and we provide the help that we do because we realize that Google and YouTube isn't always the answer. I mean, you know, it's often you find lots of answers, but just not yours. And it's can so frustrating and time wasting, right? And sometimes asking questions on forums can work, but sometimes it's just like, God, it's just painful. <laughs> like trying to describe a painting to somebody over the phone. So there are other options, there are live Zoom calls, all that sort of stuff. So again, go to learnparbi.com slash question to find out all about that. And hey, I just want to say I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting our channel throughout. And um, I'm back. The bow tie is back. All right, take care, guys. Bye.